door. Good God! What is it? He's back. And au naturel. I don't get it. First they steal the body and leave the clothes. Then they steal the clothes and bring the body back. Who would do a thing like that? Possibly some deranged dry cleaner. What about the gunshots? Why shoot some poor slob when he's already been poisoned? True. We heard the gunshots, but I don't see any bullet holes. Not on his head, his neck, his back, or his chest. Look all over him. All over his body? Well, somebody's got to do it. I'm busy standing guard. Well, why don't I stand guard? You look all over the body. All right, we'll take turns. You look over the first dead naked body that we find, and I'll look over the second. Hurry up. We only got eight minutes. Ah. Uh. You see anything? No, I don't see a bullet hole anywhere. Hold it. I see something. What is it? Oh, forget it. My mistake. Not a bullet hole. If he wasn't plugged, what about the shots? Divide and conquer. What? Another diversion. He gives us meaningless clues to confuse us, dangles red hellings before our eyes, bedazzles us with bizarre banalities, while all the time precious seconds are ticking away towards a truly terrible murder still to come. You're good, Charleston. You're not my kind of cop, but you're smart and you smell good. You're not a pansy, I know that, but what the hell are you? Classy, I suppose. Games always fall for a guy like you, don't they? I don't see what possible interest. Did you ever make it with a waitress? I beg your pardon? A waitress. Big, fat waitress. I don't know what them society names are like in the kit, but you ain't never had it till you made it with a big, fat, blondie waitress. If you're ever interested, you give me a call. <sighs> Bizarre little trit. Still not sure about this guy. What are you doing? I need to wash my hands after them. Good. I'll be out in a minute. I'll go ahead. I'll tell the others. Well, you're never going to believe this, folks. All right, where are you? What the hell is going on here? Charlton, wash up later. We got problems. Lock from the inside. That can only mean one thing. And I don't know what it is. Charlton! You're never going to believe... Uh, uh. I said I'd be out in a minute. leave this room since we were gone. So it happened to you too, Mr. Diamond. Where's my Dickie? Sorry, where's my husband? Two minutes to midnight, in case anyone is interested. It ain't possible, I'm telling you. Eight people in a dining room can't turn into an empty room unless... Unless what, Sam? Unless it never happened. I see your point, Diamond. When is a dining room filled with people, not a dining room filled with people? When it is two dining rooms. Exactly. Two dining rooms? Two dining rooms, two of everything. Twin electronic genius. He has devised a way to move this room quickly and silently in a flash of an eye to be replaced by an exact duplicate of this volume. I knew it all the time. Oh, please. I shall demonstrate. I shall walk out the door, close it, knock the times, enter, and you will all be gone. Observe. I have it all figured out. There are two of everything. Oh, Dickie, that's old news. All right, everybody, take their seats. I'm scared, Sam. Hold me. On yourself. I'm busy. Take the same seat you had before. Forty seconds. I'm very worried about Monsieur Perrier. I'm going to look for him. No, sit, please. No one to leave room. 
Push down the door. Oh. 